Hey everybody, it's me Keisha and I'm here with this week's All Tea All Shade, Real Housewives of Dubai, Season 2, Episode 9 Review. They're actually filming the reunion tomorrow in New York City. I cannot wait for the looks and everything to come out. So this episode picks up where last week's episode left off with um, Chanel being ousted for telling Talene and Stan Mary about a voice message that she received where Sarah, I mean, where, yeah, where Sarah was allegedly talking about Brooke saying she didn't really care for her much. We find out that Lisa was the one that sent her the voicemail, the voice message to ask her, am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? Like, is she saying she ain't really see it for Brooks? Like, am I tripping? You know, she sent it to her. That's her best friend. That's her home girl or whatever. And it was supposed to stay between them two. But for whatever reason, Chanel was talking too much. And, you know, I don't know if it was just in a moment. She was kikiing, got a little bit too comfortable. And she told Talene and Stanberry. And so Lisa is upset with her because why would you share that A, with anybody when you knew you weren't supposed to and b why would you share it with stanberry of all people when you know i don't mess with her and she don't mess with me like what are you doing so immediately lisa was on some see now i can't trust you now i can't trust you i can't tell you nothing and from now i'm not gonna you know share nothing with you so i guess chanel's feelings was hurt she was mad and that she was upset um but we find out that <clears throat> Sarah was not talking about Brooks. She played them. They played the message. And when they put it all in context, she was actually talking about Talene. <laughs> she didn't really care for Talene and she wasn't Talene's biggest fan. So everybody was like, oh, okay. Now it makes sense. So everybody is kind of like, okay, it was effed up, but they're <clears throat> moving over it. But Chanel is pissed. Chanel is mad. And I think that she's mad because she got, a found out and that Stanberry opened her mouth and brought it up when she wasn't supposed to because she told them don't talk about it don't bring it up but Stanberry wanted to stick it to Sarah because Sarah get on her nerves <laughs> and she basically you know ruined whatever little beginning of the friendship at that time that she and Ion were try trying to build so Stanberry was like you know I apologize for throwing you under the bus and Chanel was like no Caroline we're effing done we're done and so Lisa called Stanberry a snake and Stanberry was like I feel the same about you darling you know because they don't see it for each other they don't like each other at all but I just think that they would be such good Judies I really honestly do I think that they could be really good friends with one another so Chanel was like, look at this and shove it up your or whatever. And she gets up and leaves the table because she's pissed. And she says that she's more pissed at Lisa than she is Stanberry because Lisa was saying that she didn't trust her and she feels like she was trying to put her down in front of the other girls. Now, I don't know if this is a cultural thing because I don't know how she felt like that was her trying to put her down in front of the other girls but at that moment that she said that that's how she felt she felt like basically i guess she was trying to front on her in front of the other girls now there's more to this story that we're about to find out because i was confused as to how are you trying to flip this on lisa like she did something wrong when you were the one that opened your mouth and you were not supposed to like you're in the wrong and you know that we've been told that something happens between them that caused them to fall out and why they're not friends right now and Chanel said it was because Lisa did something really effed up to her, right? So Chanel leaves the table, like I said. She goes back to her room. Everybody's getting up because they're about to head to the club since they're done with dinner. And Lisa was like, well, let me go check on her. You know, she ain't even really that upset with Ion at this point. You know, she mad at her, but she ain't mad at her. So she went to her room, apparently, 20 minutes later, she's seen walking down the hallway crying and i think that she's about to call rich but the phone rings and a man answers but it ain't rich it's chris <laughs> ayan's husband and she's like chris i'm sorry to call you so late but i couldn't get rich on the phone me and chanel just got into it and she just cursed me out and i'm so mad i'm so bad at her i'm so mad oh wait a minute hold on it's rich rich oh my god i'm so mad at chanel where are you where are the boys what why aren't you at home with the boys what oh my god i'm so bad at you i'm so bad i'm so upset rich i've never been spoken to like that a day before in my life <laughs> oh my 
god so rich is like you know just calm down you know and all will be well in the morning like go out with your friends have a good time don't even trip y'all will make it back up so apparently Chanel cussed Lisa out when she went to the room and was like how dare you um embarrass me in front of the girls f you f you this this that and the third and so I'm like dang that's a lot for something that you did wrong like how you cussing her out I'm still like what is going on here like how is and why is Chanel flipping this on Lisa it's not making sense to me and I was like this is crazy so um Chanel, however, says in her confessional that Lisa knocked on her door and said, let's go out. Like, you know, she don't even care. Like, she's totally over the situation. And I was like, okay, well, what's wrong with that? I'm still confused. But she says, and I quote, and nobody's picking up on this that I saw on social media. She said in her confessional, I said to Lisa before dinner, Stanberry wants me to talk about the voice note. But the fact that she literally acted like she didn't know about the voice note. So she basically was saying she'd already told Lisa that she told Stanberry about the voice note and that Stanberry was trying to get her to bring it up at dinner. So she felt like Lisa was playing with her and fronting on her at the table, trying to act like she didn't know that Stanberry and them already knew. And putting on the show time and so I can't trust you, I can't trust you, and this, this, that, and the third. And so Chanel looking like, the fuck is you doing? Like, huh? Like, why you trying to act like you don't know what the T is? So now it makes sense why Chanel got upset with Lisa because you tried to play me for the cameras in front on me and make me look crazy and talk down to her at the table like you checking me about something that you already knew about. Like you playing the game with me of all people. Like I thought we was homegirls. Like what is you doing? So that was the real tea. So now I get it. And that is weird for Lisa to do that to her. If that is in fact true that she already knew about the fact that Chanel had told them about the voice note beforehand and then got at the table and tried to front on her and act like she was so betrayed and all of this stuff. Like, huh? This is what we doing? We playing with each other now on camera? Like, really? Then that's effed up. It is messed up because like, why would you do that to me? And I'm supposed to be your best friend. So after she's calmed down, Lisa runs into Brooks and Brooks is like, you know what happened? And she was like, Chanel cussed me out. And this, this, that, and the third, mind you, Brooks is ecstatic that they're into it. Ecstatic, you know, cause she loves mayhem and mess. Okay. So the girls go out, they have a ball, they club hop, they meeting men that look like Fabio. They had a grand old time. Meanwhile, Chanel back in her hotel room trying to sleep, but really can't. So the next day, um, Chanel reveals in her confessional that she's only had one other best friend in her life and that person died of AIDS and that Lisa is her second best friend so she really looks at her like a sister like she doesn't have anybody else that she can call a friend or family in Dubai you know her family isn't there with her so this really hurts her so Stanberry was kind of low-key afraid that Chanel was really mad at her like she was like low-key dreading seeing her because she knew that she messed up and you could tell like she felt bad about it but um I think it was Talene was the one that told her that she ain't even really upset with you she upset with Lisa and she was like Lisa like she the one that betrayed her like how she upset with her but okay whatever the heat is off of me no problem <laughs> but mind you Stanberry is hung over drunk boots because they turned up the night before and they're about to have their prey day right it's eat pray uh dance or party or whatever so it's sarah's day and they're gonna do some spiritual stuff and stanberry is just not in the mood she want to stay in the bed but she gets up and rallies anyway so at breakfast chanel tells lisa that they have to talk and imme immediately lisa just started crying chanel oh my god just can't do this right now and she gets up from the table and walks away chanel follows her they go and have a powwow one-on-one -on -one. and lisa was just like you know we don't speak to each other like that you know 
So I was shocked at the way that you talked to me. Now, in this conversation, from what we saw, unless they cut it out, we never saw Chanel saying to her, well, we might not talk to each other like that, but we also don't sit up there and play in each other's face and act like, you know, I I betrayed you like you didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? But that was never shown. Could have been said and they edited it out, but we didn't see that. So Chanel was, she was also like, you know, maybe I overreacted. I love you like a sister. Chanel was like, and I love you like a sister. You know, it really hurt me when you said you didn't trust me. And I was like, you don't trust me over a voice note. Like what? So I don't know who telling the truth and who lying at this point, child. I guess it'll all come out as the season progresses. So Sarah, meanwhile, back at the table talking to that other new girl that I keep on forgetting about. I don't even know why she here. And she was like, I should be the one upset. <laughs> I was like, nobody cares about you, Sarah. Nobody. Chanel and Lisa make up. They hug it out. Everything is back on track. Sarah and the new girl end up having to ride with Stanberry to the spiritual place they're going to. Meanwhile, Stanberry is complaining the whole time because she's hungover. She didn't want to go. She said she didn't feel good. She was sick. She had to pull over. She throwing up and they are sick of her. They are just sick of her complaining, 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 complaining. So that whole day, Ion walked past Stanberry when I speak to her. And you could tell Stanberry was pressed about it. Um, Lisa don't want to participate in the offering because it goes against her religious beliefs. And her go to Lynn talks about where was your religious beliefs last night when you was dancing in that cage? <laughs> so um they all do this screaming thing where they're in a uh waterfall and they get to scream all of their frustrations and stuff out, but Stanberry doesn't participate. She's being Eeyore, being a donkey about everything. So, um, that night when they get back to the crib to head out to dinner, Lisa surprises all of the girls with these custom made dresses by some woman in Bali, their hand sewn and all of this stuff. And, you know, some of the fabric choices weren't the cutest, but you know, it's a part of the culture. It's just for one night. Stop. So, Stanberry, Brooks, and Talene did not like their dresses. They hated their dresses. And I'm suspecting that on next week's episode, they're not going to have them on. And Lisa's going to be offended by this. Whew, a mess. Great episode. I'm loving Dubai this season. I've said it before. It started off shaky, but the girls have really picked it up. And I am loving it. Um, Bravo actually released a little cute teaser of New York. New York is up next. I told y'all New York is up next. And I'm suspecting that Salt Lake City will be right behind it. Because right now we only have Dubai and OC on TV now that um, Jersey is going off. And these seasons are about to be wrapping. Well, not OC. OC still got a couple more, you know, maybe about two more months left. But um, Dubai is about to be wrapping up within like the next month or so too. So I'm excited for New York and this second season for them. And I'm excited about Salt Lake City returning, even though Monica ain't with them, but whatever. But um, I'm going to give this week's episode of Dubai a B plus. It was good. I can't wait to see how this thing with Ion and Lisa is going to unfold to see who is right and who is wrong. Lisa did say in an interview that, you know, what happened between them isn't irreparable, you know. So hopefully they can make up at the reunion. Andy said that he was going to try his hardest with that at the reunion. And I mean, if it's based off this, then yeah, I don't think that that's anything to stop a friendship over. So hopefully they can get things back on track with one another. You guys, over the next two weeks, I have some really fun, interesting videos coming for you guys. One of them is stunning celebrity glow ups. You know, some of our favorite celebrities that weren't, you know, so cute. And now they are stunning, whether that be from plastic surgery or weight loss. Then I have 29 celebrities you didn't know were related. We're going to be shocked by which of your favorite celebs are related to one another. I also got a video coming up. Celebrities you didn't know were black. Can't wait for that one to drop. You're going to be shocked. And I have another video. Once gorgeous, now unrecognizable. Mm, celebrities that used to be drop dead, smoking hot, babylicious, 
And now you like, oh my God, what happened? Like you can't even believe that it's the same person. So be on the lookout for those videos. Please support. I love you guys. Please make sure to thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.